Hey, how's it going guys? I hope this video finds you well. In today's video, we are going to talk about mitosis, what it is and what happens during this process. So uh, to have an essential question, this is very simple. Can I describe what happens at each different step of the mitotic phase of the cell cycle? Okay, so today we're going to look at that second part of the cell cycle. Uh, remember that first one is interface. The second one is the mitotic phase. So today we're gonna to see what happens during the mitotic phase, okay? Please make sure that you write that question down and keep that in mind as we're going through these notes, all right? Um, before anything though, we need to understand what a chromosome is. And a chromosome simply is condensed DNA. What that means is that the DNA is so long, it is so so long in, and it's all crumbled up inside of the nucleus of each of your cells. Now you need to keep a, um, keep in mind that the cell has to have a way to separate this chromosome, to separate the DNA um, when the cells are divided into two different cells. Now to do this, what they do is that they condense it or they pretty much tightly pack it together in these structures that we call chromosomes and it's basically just proteins some type of proteins called histones and it's all going to be wrapped up all of this dna is going to be wrapped up inside of these proteins and obviously you probably heard it before that humans have a total of 46 of these chromosomes different organisms obviously are going to have different numbers of chromosomes but just keep in mind that you have to understand what a chromosome is in order to uh, for you to understand this information so a little bit more about chromosomes just know that again a chromosome is tightly packed dna and it is all wrapped up whoops around um this histone proteins that we're going to call um right there those look like histone proteins and obviously it is all tightly packed inside of that structure um, another thing is the center of the Chromosome, as you notice, this is an actual picture, what it looks like under a microscope. You see that in, right in the middle, it has a center right there. So this center, we're gonna call that the centromere, okay? And each of these right here, each of these is gonna be called a sister chromatid, okay? So both of them are sister chromatids. The entire structure is gonna be called a chromosome, okay? Just keep that in mind. So this is what I um, want to explain to you, and this is why you need to understand chromosomes. Basically, guys, the idea of uh, the mitotic phase is to ensure that both of the cells that are being divided end up with the same number of chromosomes. So if you start off in this example, we're starting off with two chromosomes. This is number one, it is number two. At one point or the other, obviously during the S phase, that DNA is going to replicate and once that DNA replicates, it's going to divide uh, into two new sets. So basically, at one point or another, you're going to have four chromosomes in the cell. And these four chromosomes are going to separate. And each of the daughter cells that are being made are going to end up with two chromosomes each. So that's the idea of uh, mitosis. It is to end up with the same number of chromosomes that you start with obviously if this does not happen uh we're gonna call this a chromosomal mutation and obviously there's really big consequences for having such mistakes so for the most part your cells want to make sure that this does not happen okay uh, so in the case of the humans you probably heard that we have 46 total chromosomes right so at one point or another we're gonna have twice of that so we're gonna double that number, we're gonna have a total of 92 chromosomes at one point during the S phase. And right after that, what is gonna happen is that each of the cells, each of the two daughter cells, once it divides, they're gonna end up with exactly what you started with, so that each cell has a total number of 46 chromosomes. Okay, and that works for every single organism, depending on how much chromosomes or how, I'm sorry, how many chromosomes they may have. Okay, a uh, little view about the uh, entire cell cycle, G1, S phase, G2, this is all during interphase. 
Today, though, we're going to talk about the M phase mitosis and cytokinesis. So, little review interface. Remember that interface is the longest phase of the cell cycle. It is uh, where the cell is obviously not going through division, it's basically doing its everyday uh, job, it's uh, carrying on with its activities. Um, at one point or another, it goes to the S phase where DNA replication or DNA synthesis is going to take place. And then what's going to happen is that the cell will go after that to the G2 phase. So you have G1, S phase, then we have G2 where the cell prepares for division. And they kind of look like this. You see inside of that DNA, uh, it's all crumbled up together, making new copies of itself. And that's what cells typically look like during interface. Okay. Um, something that's going to be very handy here is to understand is the role of couple of organelles that are going to be called centrioles and the centrioles um, kind of reminds you of like bodyguards like the centrioles they're kind of like two bodyguards that are going to come in and step up on either side of the cell and they're actually going to separate these chromosomes at one point or another and we'll see how that happens okay but just keep in mind centrioles are organelles that are going to be used to separate those chromosomes okay so what is mitosis please make sure that you write some of these things down mitosis is basically nuclear division it is the division of the nucleus inside of the cell whenever the cell is going through um, the division of itself so the way that our cells divide uh, for the growth and repair of an organism uh, it happens in all of the somatic cells and basically one word that is important here is the word somatic Basically, that means body cells, okay? Just keep that in mind. It happens in all of your body cells, not sperm cells or um, uh, egg cells. So keep that in mind. That's going to be something different that we're going to learn later on. But all of your body cells, actual, you know, skin cells, blood cells, uh, stomach cells, all of these epithelial tissues, all of those things are going to go through uh, mitosis. Uh, so one parent cell makes two daughter cells, just like the picture I show you guys. Keep in mind, we're going to be calling them daughter cells. Uh, and then the faces are PMAT, okay? And that's something that you're going to have to remember. PMAT, prophase, uh, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So this is what they look like typically. We're going to see um, what they look like um, under a microscope. So I'll show you some pictures, and we're going to go over each of these faces. So the first one is prophase and during prophase uh, which is actually the very first phase of the mitosis uh, the chromosomes are going to condense and they can actually be seen so before it all looked all crumbled up in the middle now what you're going to see is that the chromosomes are going to start forming and you can see those actual x's in the center of the cell okay uh, the nuclear disappears uh, and the spindle fibers form so you're going to see that the nucleus of the cell around here is going to start disappearing and then the spindle fibers, it's like actual fibers uh, that are coming in from the, um, the centrioles. These two centrioles are going to start going to either side of the cell. So basically, this is what it looks like. Uh, These are some pictures. You can actually see that uh, the nucleus is barely visible all around the cell. And you can actually see all of those chromosomes all crumbled up in the middle. But you can actually see that there's the shape of chromosomes. Okay. You can barely see that nucleus around. So that's what they look like in real pictures. The next one here is a metaphase. So this is the second phase. And this is when the chromosomes are going to line up in the middle of the cell. So by now, the nucleus is gone. The only thing that we can see is that the, the chromosomes are actually lining up in the middle of the, um, of the cell. And the spindle fibers are going to attach to the, uh, cent uh, the centromere of these chromosomes. Okay, so the spindle fibers from the centrioles will attach to the center of those chromosomes. And what's going to happen next, uh, again, this is some pictures. You can see that they're actually lining up here in the middle. Here you see them in a really good picture here, how those chromosomes are lining up in the middle of the cell. And this is another picture. It's not so great, but you can actually see, you can see those spindle fibers here. Uh, and then you can see that the, the chromosomes are lining up. Again, here you can actually see them. All of those dark spots are the spindle fibers in here the darker one are the actual chromosomes so that's the metaphase 
Um, the next one is anaphase, and this is the one that um, shows you how the spindle fibers are going to start pulling apart those chromosomes to either pole of the cell. So they're going to start pulling them to the end of the cell. From So these are going to start pulling this way, and these will start pulling that way. So each sister chromatid is now a separate chromosome. So these, remember, one single thing like this, we'll call it a chromosome, but when they're separated, you call it a chromatid, well, each of them now, on their own, they will become a single chromosome, okay? Um, again, this is kind of like what they look like under a microscope. You can see that they all the spindle fibers here and these dark spots here are the actual chromosomes, um, and they're being pulled apart to opposite sides of the cell. So these are uh, uh, fibers, these are protein fibers, and they're going to pretty much separate the chromosomes apart. Um, some more pictures of what it looks like. It looks like two hands, or kind of like spiders on either side of the cell. Okay. Uh, the last phase of the um, mitosis is going to be telophase, and this is where the nuclear envelope forms on each side, and there's a cleavage for rho, something that is going to form between the two daughter cells that are going to be formed. This right here is actually called a cleavage for rho, okay? That starts to form in animal cells and even in plant cells. There's a plant cell dividing here. You can see that cleavage for rho forming right there. Here, there's another cleavage for rho forming right there. So some more pictures, again, of what it looks like. You can see that now the two, um, you ha you're going to have a pretty much a chromosome forming, um, a, a nucleus forming here, another nucleus forming here, and then you have the cleaver for row uh, in the middle. Okay, another two cells here. You have the cleaver for row forming in the middle, and you start seeing the separation of the two cells. Uh, so... That is mitosis, okay? So again, we are pretty much talking about the entire phase, all of this right here. This is the M phase. And what we just talked about was mitosis, the PMAT, okay? This is PMAT. All right, now the last state is the cytokinesis, and that's the last part of the M phase, okay? Keep in mind, cytokinesis, it is not part of mitosis. It is a separate, part of the M phase. This is the final stage of the cell cycle though, where the two cells are gonna separate, and this is what we call the division of the cytoplasm. Remember the cytoplasm is this stuff inside, this jelly-like structure inside of the, um, of the cell, and they're going to separate into two different cells, okay? And that's what we call division of the cytoplasm. So as a result, we have two identical cells being made to new daughter cells, okay? I'm gonna go through a series of questions here and I'm pretty make sure that you answer each of them uh, as you go through this uh, PowerPoint in the lecture, okay? So basically the first one is um, going to be very simple. What do you see on the picture? Make sure that you answer that on the video. Once the video is stopped. Okay? Here is another one. Please make sure that you double check your answers when you see them. Look at the chromosomes lining up in the middle. Make sure that you know which face this is. Middle, M, it reminds me of M, like meta, okay? Uh, the next one, this is can be a little tricky, but you can, can you see any chromosomes there? The answer is no. So what comes before you can see chromosomes? Make sure that you know which one tells you that, okay? Here's another question. What uh, is happening here? Um, when these two are separating. Uh, the next one is here where you can actually see the chromosomes, but they're all inside of that nuclear membrane. Right? Here's another one where they are they're already separated and you can see that cleavage for row in the middle. Okay, so basically guys, that's going to conclude it. This is uh, mitosis. Keep in mind for mitosis, you have four phases, and that's what we're going to call PMAT, okay? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. The last step of the M phase is cytokinesis, but that is not part of mitosis. Okay, guys? 
hope you found this video instructional i will see you on the next video and you guys take very good care